Do you wanna know how we did this? Let's break this down. Some of you guys might be knowing a YouTuber called Daniel Schiffer. I have always been inspired by his work and thought of recreating something like that of my own. So my friend Raj and I decided to make this mock commercial of a product called Fruit Loops by Kellogg's. Although we are not sponsored by them, we'd like to. We decided to do this on Fruit Loops because I thought this product was very colorful and would look amazing on a backdrop such as yellow. Our first step was to start writing with a short list. We visualized random shots which came to our mind spontaneously. We ended up with dozens of shots initially. From that we picked only the unique looking shot. We made a chronological sequence from these shots. While making these videos, you should stick to chronology because chronology is going to make your video more logical. Then in the next step, we made a prop list and equipment list for the shoot. If you pre-plan your short list, you will have a clearer idea of what exactly will be required for the shoot. So you don't end up forgetting anything. <laughs> Equipment we used for this shoot were A7 for 24mm and 55mm for almost all of the shoot. For the macro shots, we used a Canon R5 and 100mm macro. For lights, we used a DCL150 and LC500 for filling the light. First shot of the video was the easiest of them all. We shot it by placing the camera top down, pointing at the loop. To get extreme close up, we shot it on a 100mm macro on the R5. In post, we added scaling to the shot to show that the camera is going inside the loop. On to the next shot, we decided to do this in stop motion to show the loops expanding and converging. For this, we firstly arranged the pattern of the whole loops covering the whole frame. Then we took a two second clip and removed an outer rear every time and then took another two second clips. Then we ended up with five clips of the loops converging. Then we dropped it on our timeline and trimmed it to three seconds each. So you would get a reverse of the loops disappearing. Then we just made a duplicate layer of the whole shot and reversed it to make the loops appear. And then I just added some time remapping to make it slow and fast. For our third shot, we shot it on a motorized turntable and shot a slow tilting shot of the box spinning on the turntable and just simply speed ramped it in the post. Down to our most complicated shot of the video. I initially visualized while the fruits fall from above the bowl, inside the bowl, the camera will pedestal up from low angle to high angle, revealing the bowl and while the camera moves rapidly, the fruits will transition to loops, essentially showing the loops are made up of fruits. So we did it with a tripod. Yes. A tripod because we had to do two exactly same movements which wasn't possible with the gimbal. In edit I lined up the shots where the movement would sync with the bowl and I added a cut where all the fruits are almost in the bowl and then I just added a morph transition in between the two clips. For the next shot we wanted the loops to burst out of the cereal box so we took three separate shots. Shot one would be a clean shot of the background. Second shot we took of the box slowly rotating. And third shot where we throw the loops, we shot it on a green screen so that we could remove it with chroma keying. And then we simply put all three shots together to make this shot. Next shot was a simple shot of milk pouring into the bowl. We shot it on a gimbal to give it slight movement. Next shot was the continuation of the previous shot of the milk being poured into the bowl. We decided to take a macro close up of milk being poured onto the loops to show the details of the cereal. For the rotating moment, we placed the bowl onto our motorized turntable. For our closing shot, we wanted to show three boxes so we decided to make an interesting movement out of it. Raj sitting below moved the two boxes revealing the center box while I took a dolly in shot with the slider. The overlay fruit elements were not stock elements. We completely shot everything from scratch. We just placed all the elements on a pen and sticked it on a motorized tabletop to give it spinning motion and rotoscoped in post 
and just added scaling and rotating motion on a transform layer. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button. And if you like creative videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Purple did it then. Purple. Orange. Orange. Red. Orange. Red. Orange. Orange could lay. Tell me. Orange. Hey, black and white. Yeah. Yeah, this is what it is. Simple as that. Simple. No, no, no. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Hey, mother.